Hello. Ah, it's Shauna Taken here from shaunataken.com. How easy is that, my website? How you all be? For me, this is um, week three of a cold that turned into a flu, which turned into a journey of epic proportions. How does it get any better? Um, oh my goodness, it's been intense. I've been sick. I've been coughing. Blah, blah, blah. I'm still a bit... Uh, haven't been to the gym for over two weeks. Can you believe it? Um, haven't been out walking on the beach. Hi, Pamela. And I know lots of people are experiencing all kinds of things at the moment. What's a really brilliant tip? If you will embrace it, will change everything. My big secret, and I've talked about it before, so it's not really a secret, is if you're willing to return to, keep coming back to, embrace the point of view that everything that's showing up is for you. Every event, every experience, every pain, every sadness, whatever, there is something in it. There is an energy in it. There's a gift in it. It may lead you to expanded capacities of awareness, uh, more talents working with people. You may be baking better cakes, but whatever it is, there is in this attitude to life that I'm always expanding, I'm always upgrading. Whatever's showing up in my body is not a deterioration. It's not a wrongness. Um, I didn't eat the wrong thing or forget to take my vitamins. Hello, Joanna. It's simply a nudge from my body, from my being, from my soul, if you like, from the universe. Hey, pay attention here. There's something here for you. And on a global scale, we are all clearing past things that we've buried, some to a greater or lesser degree, so that we can be more present, more in the now, and more open to receiving a future that will look absolutely brilliant and be brilliant, despite how it seems at the moment. So let's just do some energy work. That's my sermon for today. Some energy work. I've really missed this. Take a deep breath. Breathe out with a big sigh. Hi, Laurie. Another breath in. Can't usually do that without coughing. And out. On the next breath in, pull energy from everywhere around you, through you, down through the top of your head. Breathe out. Whoosh. Let the energy go into the earth. It's actually already doing this quite naturally. This is not a foreign technique. We're just enhancing it. So pull more energy through your body, through your energy systems, through your energy field around your body. Allow yourself to receive it all the way down through your feet. Wriggle your toes. Let it flow out your feet and hands. Just remind yourself to relax. Oh, that's right, I can do this. Expand, which means let the energy be big. If you've narrowed down all your pathways and your little receiving funnel, expand it. If you've been feeling down or sad or worried or anxious, the pathways can narrow a bit, so just relax and expand them. Turn the energy to gold, just by saying, I'm running gold energy now. And have as much gold as you desire and require. You don't have to wait to win lotto or the lottery to have as much gold as you need, as you want, as you feel. There's no shortage. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have so much abundance and flow of money that whenever you needed it or required it or asked for it, it just showed up. Oh, I think I'd like to go on a trip or I'd like to change my diet this week or buy some vitamins or 
donate some money to the cat rescue and you spend the money and more money comes in and it's the same with health and well-being abundance of everything now pull earth energy up through your body connecting with the earth is very important People used to call it grounding, but it's way beyond grounding. Allow the energy of nature actually into your body and energy systems. If you like, vibrate like the sea or the wind or lovely green trees. I'm looking out at the windows all around me at the trees. Just match the vibration of the earth. It's rich, it's green, it's generative, it's always growing. Your vitality and the vitality of the earth are intimately connected. Oh. How far out can you expand all of your lovely energy now? And it, maybe it's swirling and moving because you've got gold and you've got earth energy and that's okay. Fill the room that you're in with your energy. If you've got house plants, they'll be happy about that. But your furniture will be happy too because everything has consciousness. And the carpets and the floors and the walls and all of your things. They're all energy. Expand, expand, expand. Say thank you to your lovely body for everything it's doing for you. Even though we mess with it and project things at it and judge it. Relax and expand. I don't know if you can see sort of to the side of me where I'm pointing. They're all my orchids hanging up outside. Because you know what? For the past three or four years, I've kept all my orchids inside with good lighting and I've babied them and nurtured them and kept them warm and they never flowered again. <laughs> I put them outside a month ago. It's a bit dry out there. It's winter. It's cold. Four of them are flowering. We've got flower stalks. What do you know? Sometimes you can overprotect and over nurture things. Relax and expand. Have you been overfeeding, over nurturing, over protecting your body when actually what it requires is more challenges? A bracing walk in the cold, less food, <laughs> more water. I don't know. What does your body require? We oversleep our bodies, we overfeed them, we overcoddle them. They're meant to be dynamic, moving machines out there. Expand, expand, expand. And every time you hear another disaster on the news and there's another murder and there's another blah, 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 just go, wow. Somebody's choosing a big upgrade. Someone out there is getting a big message to wake up. It's not happening to me, so it doesn't concern me. But for them, wow. Instead of, oh, what a tragedy, how sad. Wow, they're really going for it. They're choosing big. Relax and expand. Relax and expand. Sadly, many people are living their lives as if they're in a video game. Oh, I'm losing internet here. Bear with me. Many people are living like life is some kind of cosplay gaming thing. It's so much more. 
every moment is a golden opportunity for kindness, expansion, happiness, joy, growing something, cooking something delicious, listening to some beautiful music, saying hello to somebody. Expand, expand, expand. Can you go bigger than the room you're in with your energy? As big as your suburb or town or city? Don't forget to expand behind you, below you, above you. So make your bubble bigger. This is your sphere of influence. And the more well-being, happiness, joy, fun and laughter you fill your bubble with, the more it infects and affects other people. It's catching. Like many clocks in one room, they all begin to entrain to one clock. You could be the one clock. What vibration can I align with today? And some days you'll have a bad day or a bad hour or whatever, of course. Just get back on that horse, get back in the saddle, get back on the wagon. <sighs> what would I like to choose today? What energies can I align with? Oh, well-being is a good one. Peace, harmony, love, abundance. You don't have to feel it. You don't have to see it just choose to align with it you might not feel the gold you might not see the gold doesn't matter it doesn't depend on the physical senses relax 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 and expand such a great time to be on the planet such a good time to be on the planet What is your purpose? Who are you? What are you here for? These are great questions to be asking. Having fun, being yourself, being true to yourself, being kind. Some people it's about family, other people it's about something else. It's okay, whatever it is for you. Relax and expand. So as you go through your day, just remind yourself to take a breath. You can do any of the steps in any order. You can expand out first. You can run gold first. You can pull earth energy first. It doesn't matter. Just take a breath and expand. Anything that shows up, whether it's a flu or a flat tire or some money going missing, ask the questions. What's actually going on here? What's being brought to my awareness here? What's the energy under this? Do I need a big rest? Wow, I must have needed a big rest, guys. Oh well. Expand, expand, expand. Relax, relax, relax. And I look forward to being on here more often now that I'm not coughing all the time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.